yes welcome to dc economics so we are going coherently to talk about introductory part to public economics actual the public economics is one of the branch of economics that focuses on the study of the government policy include how governments allocate resources generate revenue and provide public goods and services so the part of this branch of public economics actual focuses on how the government applies its policy and how its policy influencing economic outcome in that particular country or in any situation that the policy may cause an impact to of the overflow of the overflowish of the economy in that particular area so it deals also it includes also on how government allocate resources to the potential use in order to generate income and to make a, a nation to achieve higher national income so it deals on how government allocate resources also generate revenue and it provides the public good and services as we we actual call to meet the human welfare so public economics examines the role of the government in the economy and how public policies impact individuals businesses and society as a whole so let's try uh, to see the key aspect of public economics one among the key aspect of public economics include government spending we look on how the government spends use its income to meet the human welfare the spending could be maybe a building bridge the spending could be constructing roads the spending could be providing water tapes to the societies the spending could be constructing a uh, build uh, classrooms for students in order they can have a better place for learning it could be giving out a uh, treatment it could be constructing hospitals and so forth so one among the key aspect of public economics include the government spending so public economics analyzes on how governments allocate their budgets to various sectors such as healthcare education defense and infrastructures so it tend to explore the effectiveness and efficiency of the government spending programs another key aspect of public economics include taxation public economics studies different forms of taxations include income taxes sales taxes corporate taxes and so forth so we tend to analyze on how taxes affect individual behavior income distribution and economic growth and actually the issue of tax is actually the compassal for every individual to pay for example in tanzania it is a compassal for a business for a worker to pay for tax and actually remember because the government enables to meet the human welfare or its spending because it, it enables to correct revenue it generates revenue through the sources of taxation so public economics study different forms of taxation include the income tax the sales tax the corporate tax that is, that is charged from the companies so not only it deals with tax but is trained to analyze on how now the tax can be imposed or can be embodied friendly to the people in order they can pay it easily and can be can make a commitment to pay it effectively so they tend to we tend to analyze on how taxes affect individual behavior tax can affect the behavior of an individual that's why some other people escape to pay tax because the tax actual is not friendly and actual uh, some other people may be friendly to pay tax because they tend to look on how now the forms of the system of taxation is actual friendly for many of the people to to get involved so the public economics tend to analyze us on how tax affect individual behavior 
the tax on how it's affecting the video distribution, income distribution, but also the economic growth of the country. Another key aspect of uh, public economics is the way the public goods. The public goods, actual, what is, uh, what do we mean when we say the public goods? The public goods are goods or services that are non-excludable and non revivals means that when we when tend to uh, when we say non excludable it means that they are available to everyone and when we actually say non revivals mean that one person use or when someone use a certain uh, quantity of goods or services cannot actually diminish or Actual cannot give a limit for a, another one to use. So one person use does not diminish its availability to others. So that is actual we mean the non values A non excludable this means that they are available to everyone. So public economics investigates the optimal provisions of public goods and the challenge associated with their productions and consumption. So another key aspect of public goods, of public economics, includes externalities. So public economics examines externalities, which are, we actually refer to as externalities. These are intended side effects of economic activities that affect third parties. So public economics under the issue of externalities it is explore the policies like taxes subsidies regulation to address negative externalities such as pollution and promote positive externalities such as education another key aspect of our public economics include social welfare programs public economics evaluates the welfare program such as unemployment benefits welfare and health care subsidies so researchers analyze the impact of these programs on poverty inequalities and social well-being so this uh when we we actually talk about the social welfare programs such as unemployment benefits health care subsidies these are very important issues because they're interconnected uh, within the human environment and how now people behave, on how people meet demands, on how people actual uh, meet with encountered, uh, how people now are encountered with different problems that they have no solutions. So researchers analyze the impact of these programs on poverty, inequalities, and social well-being as well. Another key aspect of uh, public economics also include government regressions. Public economics studies government regressions in the value sector, such as environmental regressions, which could be labor laws and consumers' protections. So public economics assess uh, the cost and benefits of regressions and their impact on market outcome. So another key aspect of uh, public economics include market failures. What actually means when we say market failure? The situation where market fail to allocate resources efficiently, such as in the case of natural monopolies or asymmetric informations in the particular market. So public economics and is tend to explore the government interventions to correct these market failures. And when the government intend to correct these failures, Sometimes government may also intend to failure. That means government fails. Also, another key aspect of policy of our public economics include policy analysis. So, public economics provides tools and methods for evaluating the outcomes of public policies. So, economists use the cost-benefit analysis or game theories and econometric techniques to assess the impact of government interventions and make policy recommendations. So public economics deals also with the issue of policy. Remember that actual policy is the one that affects the performance of the economy through different various sectors in the economy. It could be industrial sector, agricultural sector, 
uh, it could be a mining sector and many other big sectors in the economy. So if the policy is bad, it can give influence toward the bad performance of these sectors. And bad performance of this sector of the economy lead to the drop of the economy. The economy instead of, uh, uh, of prospering now is going to flourish in a negative way. So remember, when you study public economics, it's very important. It's very essential uh, for policymakers, economists, and citizens because the, throughout the knowledge of public economics, they can easily make uh, informed decisions about uh, different issues concerning about economic development. And these uh, issues include uh, government policies, issue of taxations, uh, issue of public spending, issue of regulations, ultimate shaping the economic well-being of the societies. Also, uh, let's talk about non instabilities and free rider problems and taxation in public economics. non instabilities and free rider problems, these are fundamental concept. These are fundamental concepts in public economics that I write the challenges associated with providing public goods and services. But also the public goods are characterized by the two main features, that is non instabilities and non virus consumption. As I told you earlier, non instabilities actual these are included, the public goods are non-excludable, mean that individuals cannot be excluded from using the good or services, even if they do not pay for it. That's the meaning of non-excludable. And now, since people cannot be excluded from using the public good, now there is no a way to charge a price for its consumptions. And that is why now we we actual uh, we actual assume we actual uh, tend to to say that uh, the public goods are non-excludable. That the that uh, they are non-excludable because there is no any individual can be excluded from using the good or services. So anyone can use freely. So this means that the cost is exempted out. But also another feature of the public goods include uh, it includes non virus. Non virus. The free rider problems that the due to non excludabilities now individuals have an incentive to free ride on the contribution of the others. So they can benefit from the public good without paying for it. If everyone acts as a free rider, now there might be insufficient funding to provide the public good at the optimal level or even at all. So in order you can address the free rider problems and ensure that the provisions of public goods, the governments often refer a take a decision to intervene through taxation. So the government take a, a decision to intervene through taxation in order to address now this problem of free rider problems and to ensure the provisions of public goods, the governments often intervene through the taxations. So after saying so, uh, this is a short part for introductory part about the public economics. Thank you for watching This is DC Economics. Don't forget to watch on the next videos concerned now on how now the government intervening through the taxation to address the issue of free rider problems. Bye bye.